Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about energy transfers here with a typical uh, question. And it's gonna involve a little bit of maths. So let's just have a quick look at the question. So it's talking about sunlight and that sunlight is being absorbed partly anyway by the vegetation. Now we know the vegetation is plants and we know plants are producers. So we could just say here, the vegetation are producers and they're gonna absorb 2.1% of the sunlight. So imagine we put here 100% of the sunlight falls on a plant, 2.1% of that 100% is absorbed to be used in LDR reactions. And then we know ATP and NADPH are gonna be used to make glucose via the light independent reactions. So in terms of the biomass of the vegetation then, we know the gross primary productivity is the net primary productivity plus respiration rate. So what we could do is work out NPP, which is equal to GPP minus respiration. So that's the, the dry biomass of the vegetation, and that would be the net primary productivity. So all the molecules that make up the cells and tissues of the plants. So that might be the phospholipids, the DNA, the RNA, the proteins, the starch, which we know is a polysaccharide. Now, from the vegetation, it says 12.7% of the energy within the biomass of the vegetation is then going to be transferred into the, the zebra, which is the uh, primary consumer. So we can put primary consumer. Okay. Now, of the energy that's being consumed by the zebra, we know they're holozoic feeders. So they've got an internal digestive system and they hydrolyze the molecules, <clears throat> excuse me, like cellulose internally. And of this energy in the zebra, 58.2% is lost as faeces and urine. So faeces is just egested material, like cellulose and fiber. And the urine is excreted molecules like, or e.g. urea. So any metabolic waste is always excreted, and that would be urea in the urine. And any non-digested food like cellulose, etc., would be egested out as feces. Now, of the energy that the zebra consumes, 36.1% is lost through heat via the process of respiration in the cells of the zebra. So we know respiration releases some heat energy, which is then not, not available to build biomass. The heat's actually lost. 5.7% of that energy is then used to build new biomass within the zebra. And we know biomass is the dry carbon molecules that make up the cells and tissues of the, the zebra here. So the phospholipids, the DNA, the proteins. So the question says, use the diagram to calculate the percentage of sunlight that would be transferred into the feces and urine, which is this one here, of the zebra. And so we want three significant figures. So um, percentage of sunlight, so we're gonna start with 100%, and 2.1% of that energy ends up in vegetation, and 12.7% of that ends up in zebra, and 58.2% of that value ends up as the feces and the urine, this one here. So percentage then, so it's 58.2%, so we'll do that as a decimal, times the energy here, which was 12.7% that was consumed by the zebra, and that is 2.1% of the total light that shone down on the vegetation. So you're basically working your way back as a percentage. So 58.2% of energy here in the feces and urine, okay, was from the zebra. That was 12.7% of the energy in the vegetation, which is 2.1% of the total sunlight. So you could times these, and then what we'll do is we'll get a decimal, but it wants the percentage. So I'll just let you guys, obviously you're gonna times by 100 to get your value here. Work that out if you want. So 0 0.582 times 0 0.127 times 0 0.021. And that gives us let's have a quick look. 
API, you just work that out, a value that you can put in there. Right, in the ecosystem, the net productivity. So this is NPP, the dry carbon biomass of the vegetation is 24,525 kilojoules. So the units are kilojoules per meter squared per year. Use this info and the diagram to calculate the energy stored in new tissues okay, of the zebra in kilojoules per meter squared per year. So the net productivity of the vegetation is the dry biomass. So we're gonna go 24,525 plus the units times 0.127 because that's 12.7 percent vegetation gets consumed by the zebra they're holozoic feeders remember and we want it in the new tissue so of that value 5.7 percent will become the new dry biomass of the cells in the tissue so 0 0.057 so you guys can add these together oh, sorry multiply them together so it's this value and then just put that in here and remember it is kilojoules per meter squared per year. Now, sometimes what they can do in the question is they can actually ask you to scale up into a different area. So the units of energy for energy transfer are always kilojoules per unit area per unit time. So it might be kilojoules per kilometer squared per year, as opposed to just per meter squared. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, we know one kilometer is a thousand, so a thousand meters. So actually one kilometer squared would be a thousand times a thousand, that's 10 to the six meters squared. Okay, so one kilometer squared is equal to a million meters squared. So then you could scale up your answer if needed.